All across the world, Orica is working with customers to solve the unique challenges faced at their operations. In Toyota City, Japan, low-lying areas of the city were prone to flooding during heavy rainfall. Construction company Kashima Corporation were contracted to excavate the Ane River Tunnel, an 85 square metre, 1.86 kilometre long tunnel to increase drainage capacity of the river from 10 cubic metres per second to 90 cubic metres per second. The initial plan was to excavate the Ane River Tunnel by mechanical means, but the rock proved too hard for mechanical excavation. Blasting commenced with a local supplier's pre-programmed delay detonators. However, Kajima received numerous complaints from neighbours. The tunnel is beneath a quiet residential area so far blasting. It's important that we don't interrupt our neighbours. Attempts to lessen the impact of blasting by reducing the maximum instantaneous charge were costly for excavation productivity and did not eliminate complaints. Kajima approached Orica for a solution to reduce vibration, enabling them to maintain their license to operate. Orica proposed the use of the EDEV2 electronic tunnel blasting system. Featuring millisecond programmability, EDEV2 provides the flexibility and precision required to achieve the most challenging blast outcomes. At-face testability allows testing of the wiring, connections and detonators at the face so that errors can be corrected before the working area is cleared, minimising the chance of misfires and blast delays. Combined with Orica's Shot Plus T software for design, modelling and vibration analysis, Kajima was able to customise their initiation sequence to suit the neighbours' perceptions of low vibration. By programming blasts to produce high-frequency vibration waveforms and shorter blast duration, daily blasting operations became far less perceptible. This was important, given the tunnel was, in places, 12 metres from residential homes. The great improvement is that neighbours consent for D and B excavation in this project. When blasting in vibration-sensitive environments, such as the Arne River, the maximum instantaneous charge often becomes restricted. This restricts the maximum blast hole length and subsequently the advance achieved per blast. While this reduces the impact or vibration of each individual blast, it has the adverse effect of increasing the overall number of blasts and the time required to complete the tunnel. With the vast range of available delays provided by the EDEV2 system, a far greater number of individual explosive charges could be managed within a single blast. By drilling to a depth that allowed use of multiple independent charges within a single blast hole, rather than the conventional one charge per hole, the peak level of ground vibration could be controlled while eliminating the adverse impacts of a small maximum instantaneous charge and shorter round lengths. With support from Orica's global technical team, Kajima fired Japan's first ever multi-deck tunnel blast in September 2013, achieving an astounding four metre round with an MIC of only 0.8 kilograms, compared to the standard of two metres for the same MIC using the conventional blasting technique. With EDEV2 and the multi-deck blasting technique, Kajima was able to blast through the most sensitive areas of the project with half the number of blasts that might have been required using the conventional blasting technique, minimising delays to both neighbours and construction activities and wiping months off the project's critical path. We can fire less blast, which means less opportunity to disturb our neighbours in areas where we must use extremely low MIC, it will allow increased rate of advance.